Hi guys, this is Kate from Tech Figure. Okay, this right here is Xiaomi's Mi A2, the next generation up from the very successful Mi A1. Let's take a look at it. So this is packing a 12 and 20 megapixel backward facing dual camera, also with an amazing 20 megapixel front facing camera, and a speedy Snapdragon 660 processing chip, and it comes with Android 1 which is a pure version of the Android OS, meaning you'll be the first to get the software updates for Android from Google. So let's get it open. So there's no denying, the Mi A2 is a handsome looking phone, with its dual camera setup and its fingerprint sensor on the back. It has a metal body which gives it a quality and solid feel. The Android One OS gives this the latest powered AI innovations and security protection. Ok, comparing the Samsung S8 with the Mi A2, the Mi A2 is wider and longer than the S8 with the S8 having an 18.5 to 9 ratio and the Mi A2 having a 16 to 9 ratio. So I've been playing around with the Xiaomi Mi A2 for the last few days and I can say without a shadow of a doubt I really like it. And if someone handed me this phone without giving me the price, I would have said this is priced up there with the flagship models. In fact, I picked this up for £229 for the 64 gig model. I would even go as far as saying the fingerprint sensor on the Xiaomi A2 is faster than the one on the Samsung S8. On the back we've got 12 megapixel and 20 megapixel cameras and the main camera sensor has had an upgrade since the Mi A1 making it one of the best phone cameras for the price. In fact the A2 comes very close to the flagship models. It delivers photos which are really punchy and detailed and the HDR mode kicks in whenever you need it so it copes exceptionally in challenging lighting. The camera app comes with some pretty smart features including the selfie beautify mode which we all love. Fortunately you can level this up or down. There's also a night mode setting and a tilt shift setting for all you budding hipsters out there. Oh yeah and not forgetting the speakers on this phone. There's only one word for it. They are absolutely bangy. So overall for the price this phone is a steal. The battery giving you 3000 milliamps of capacity, giving you 5 to 6 hours of pretty heavy screen time. And lastly, the camera and performance are unbeatable at this price range. So that's it, guys, it's a big thumbs up from me. So if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.